Today we're bringing you a video on our visit to Leisure Ride and Bike Rentals in Titusville Road, Poughkeepsie, New York. Biking is a great way to lose weight and increase your health. Hi, Bill Lovaniska here, and today I have a special treat for you. This is uh, Mr. James Taylor. He owns the bicycle shop, Leisure Ride, here in LaGrangeville, New York. And it's right off the rail trail, which I go on as much as I can to try to keep this off. And uh, I'm going to let James show you around his store and the advantage that he offers you in renting a bike as opposed to buying a bike and also the special type of bikes he has available here. Take it over, James. How you doing? My name is James Taylor. I own the shop here, Leisure Ride Bike Rental. Uh, don't let the name fool you. We also sell bikes, service bikes, so we're a full service bike shop. In addition, we have some special and unique bikes because of our proximity to the rail trail. So we'll start off with the recumbent bikes. So these are different types of uh, recumbent bikes. They're all the same brand. This particular brand is the Cat Trike. So they come in uh, several sizes, um, different seating variations, and some of them also fold. Uh, these particular bikes are all aluminum, and they have 10 gears in the rear, three in the front, disc brakes, uh, it's like sitting in your living room, uh, very relaxing, padded seats, and all of this is washable. Um, it also comes with clipless pedals, so you can clip in uh, double-sided pedals. One is for clipless pedals, and one you can use without. James, I think that you, a lot of my people are obese, and that's why they watch this channel. Is this ideal for an obese person? There are different types. Uh, the basic bike will hold 300 pounds, a little bit over. Okay. Um, there are some that hold a little more than that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and they're very stable. They are recumbents, three wheels, so you don't have to worry about stability. And what is the advantage of this particular type of bike? Several advantages. One is you don't have to worry about balance. So, so that you know, a lot of my people are overweight. This right. is why they go to the side of the morning diet. So what is the advantage of this particular bike as opposed to a, a regular stand-up bike? Right, so the advantage of this bike, first of all, if you're a little heavier on the heavier side, um, you don't have to worry about balance because that may be an issue, equilibrium a little bit off. So with this bike, uh, you can sit on it, nice and relaxed, go at your pace, and it's also, this is called a boom here, so your feet are slightly elevated. So that's also great for circulation. Um, and by sitting in this position, uh, you can also use your back as support, unlike a traditional bike where you have no back support. So that's one advantage, well, a couple of advantages. Jim, could you tell us about this particular bike and the difference between this and the one you just showed us? This is also recumbent. Um, however, the seating position is a little different. Instead of your steering hand grips here on the side, it'll be elevated. So this will keep your hands upright instead of at your side. Also, the elevation on this bike is higher than some of the other recumbents, so it's low, it's easier to get on the seat. So this would be another advantage, and it's also wider. Jim, let me ask you, I had done another bike shop, and they didn't offer these type of bikes. Why do you? Well, most importantly, um, this bike is great for a variety of reasons that we spoke on, and also my proximity to the rail trail, which is just beyond the parking lot. It's very conducive to have this type of bike in this shop because you can ride straight from the store right on the trail. You don't have to hook it up to your car. You don't have to transport it. You can just get on and ride straight to the trail. That's something we offer that other bike shops don't because it's not conducive for them to put their money in a bike like this. Very good. So this is another type of bike that you won't see in too many places other than on boardwalks. Uh, they have them in Maryland, Virginia, um, areas usually south of uh, the city um, on boardwalks. And this is called a Suri. So this particular one will see two kids in the front and up to three adults in the rear. Uh, normally you would see these bikes on the beach and they would be one speed. However, because we're on a trail that has some elevation, inclines and declines, we have seven gears independent of each other. So you can climb hills with this bike, and you won't see this bike anywhere uh, in the Northeast. This is the only place that you'll be able to find it. It has a canopy in case it rains, and it's just a lot of fun. 
That's well, the sword. How about the, uh, the, 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 the strength needed to operate this bag? Well, it's best to have two people operate it because it is independent pedaling and gearing. The, the bike itself weighs 200 pounds. This is a commercial version, so it's not a lot of moving parts, but it's very durable. It'll hold well over 600 pounds. Okay, and, and it actually is a, a two bikes in one. Pretty much, it, it would work that way, but it works in conjunction. Uh, you have rack and pinion steering in here. You have internal seven-speed hub system uh -huh. and uh, dual rear brakes with one handle. Good, good. Very nice bike, a lot of Join us now, why, why this particular bike? So now, once again, if you have, uh, if you're a little overweight, what have you, if you have any balance issues. So, like the recumbent that we showed you earlier, this is a different type of three-wheeler. This is an adult trike. So, this adult bike, you don't have to worry about balance, once again. It's sitting really high, so this way, you can get on this bike a lot easier if you have any issues with bending down for the recumbent bike. So, this bike is an internal gear system. Um, so, you have three speeds. They make them single speed, three and five. This is a, this one particularly is a three speed. Nice wide seat. You have your um, your gearing and your uh, cranks are crank forward, meaning that you, your legs are stretched out more, so you can be a taller person and you can still be able to reach these pedals comfortably. Uh, this has a dual brake. One is a foot brake, coaster brake, and the other front hand brake. So double protection. Exactly, and you have a nice big basket. Once again, our proximity to the trail, if you want to go, there's picnic tables out there. You can pack a lunch and you can head out. Jim, uh, let me ask you about that wide seat. That's an unusually wide seat. I mean, ideal for my people. Right, well, for this particular bike, there are several seats that go on this bike. This particular one is a full-size saddle. So once again, if you're a little bit of a larger person, this will accommodate you. And I'll show you one other type of seat. So this is another adult trike. And with this one, we have a non-supported seat, meaning you don't have poles under the bottom. The saddle is still full-size, and you also have back support. The frame of this one is a little larger, so Therefore, it'll accommodate a taller person. And this would be a five-speed uh, bicycle, and this will be external gearing instead of internal. So once again, this, one of the reasons that we open the shop is not only to sell your bike or to rent your bike, but to give you different perspectives on bikes that might work for you, and you can try them. So if you do want to buy it, you can buy any bike in the shop, used or brand new. So you get the chance to try this bike out before you make a purchase. Even if you don't purchase it from us, at least you get the experience. That's a good uh, good point that you're making because many people haven't ridden bikes for, for years or ever and this gives them the opportunity to try it out. Now what is your opinion of what the phenomenon of biking that's going on now? Well, just uh, I'm going to go back a little bit in reference to riding. Mm -hmm. One of the things we also do is we uh, have lessons here. So we've taught over 100 people how to ride. And 100 people that have come here have, graduated. All, learned, have, have all learned how to ride. So therefore, we have a pretty good uh, uh, record of teaching people how to ride. So if you haven't ridden a bike, it doesn't matter if you're five, you used to ride, forgot how to, which doesn't happen because your body will reacclimate to that, um, we can help you out and we're guaranteed to get you back out there. And in reference to biking, uh, what, what's happening now is a lot of the trails, like the one we're on, the Dutchess Rail Trail, they're taking a lot of old railroads and they're turning them into biking uh, paths, which is tremendous. Um, it's one of the few lower impact sports that's just tremendously enjoyable and healthy. So it doesn't matter your size, age, weight, there's always a way to get you on a different, some type of bike. What I found for myself was that uh, it was less strain on the knees because as opposed to walking or jogging, there's less strain on the legs. Absolutely. Like I was uh, stating a little earlier, it's low impact. So that means your joints, uh, if you're uh, seated properly and everything is adjusted properly, you have uh, very little uh, joint pain <clears throat> because when you have a full range of motion without hyperextending, you give your body an opportunity to 
utilize its muscles properly. Therefore, it makes it easier to ride and much more pleasurable and you can ride a lot longer without fatigue. And I made a video showing that one hour of biking is equivalent to two to three hours of walking. This is true and even more so depending on the pace and the gearing that you use. Very good. Could you show us the next one? Sure. Okay, Jim. What do you have? What else do you show? Okay, us? something very special. One of my favorites is the elliptical. Now, I've never personally ever seen a bike like this before. No, Why have I seen anybody riding one? Right. Well, this is what they sometimes think is uh, an alternate to a runner uh, because of the motion of the bike. So you have sliders here, and it's mimicking. Um, maybe uh, a running position. Uh, it's a little different because you elevate it off of the ground um, about six to eight inches. Now that would also be good on the knees because... Excellent on the knees, low impact because it's no pounding. So you have a sliding board here and you also have a chain ring and an internal eight-speed gearing system. So what that does is there's no pounding. Everything is precision so it's a flowing motion so that is very low impact close to no impact on the knees uh, this has trigger shifts and it has traditional v brakes like an upright bike um, one of the benefits to this is you can get a very good stride and it has different positionings for people who want a shorter or longer stride and it'll also accommodate from five feet to six seven now jim how much how, or how long would it take you to learn to ride that bike? Because it looks a little involved. Well, when I uh, went, the first time I got on this bike, I was able to ride it immediately. And other people that have rented or purchased this have been able to do it also. There are some people that need a little more practice, but it can be done if you want to put the time into it. So it depends on uh, the individual. So it's an individual thing, but it's just an alternate way of exercising it is if you've ever had an elliptical in the gym you're on well this is that plus more and it moves. plus you're getting the, sunshine as opposed absolutely. to being clothed in a building exactly and one of the great things about this you can also put it on a trainer so in the winter time you can put it on a trainer elevate the rear tire and you can watch tv and use it as a stationary elliptical like you do so you're getting two for one absolutely very good great very buddy good. this also comes in three speed eight speed and eleven speed the 11 speed has a folding steer tube, uh, great for transport, and they have a new one out called the ARC, and the ARC is an external gearing system instead of internal, and the price point's a little lower. <laughs> Terrific bike. Very Come good. in and give it a try. Okay. <laughs> now, the, the other day you repaired my bike, and you, you, get, you, you gave me a new type of tire. Can right. you talk about that? Because I had never seen that before either. Right, so what you can do is, a lot of people have very nice bikes, but they're not using them for its true purpose. For example, a mountain bike. So we'll just have a look at a, a mountain bike tire. So this is a traditional mountain bike tire. It's a 26 inch in diameter um, by 195 in width. So it's very knobby and its true purpose is off-road. So if you happen to purchase this bike and you're not using it for off-road, then what you can do is you can keep your bike that you love and we can change the tire. So what we can put on this is what we call a hybrid tire. So it would be knobs on the outside, but it would be smooth on the inside. So if you're on the road, you would have very low resistance, increase your speed. And if you go off-road, then you can pick up the surface and keep your balance with the knobs. And I'll show you exactly what that tire looks like. Okay. Can, it's one on this bike here. So this would be the hybrid tire. So the hybrid tire, once again, the tread on the side is gonna be knobby and that'll help you um, on the off-road terrain. And then if you're on street or a trail like we have, you have a smoother surface that'll give you less resistance. So you'll have the best of both worlds, keep your bike, and now you can still have the off-road capability, but you have the smooth, non-frictional surface that'll keep well, you Well, I tell flowing. you, I, I had a dramatic difference in my ride. 
with the, the different tire because before, because it was thicker, it gave me more road resistance. Right. And now I, I, I feel much better. Exactly. Riding. This will reduce the resistance by 50 to 75 percent. Yeah, it was great. Dramatic difference. Yes. So I'm going to show you another bike out of the ordinary. And that's going to be the fat tire bike. So is it in the shot? It's in the shot. Okay. So start from the top. So uh, one of the interesting bikes we have in the shop that everyone uh, wants to know what it per what its purpose is is the fat tire bike. So there's a lot of different brands. This one is uh, by KHS. It's the 1000. It's a 60 60 61 aluminum frame. It's uh, they also come in um, carbon fiber if you want something really light. But this is a 26 by 40 wheel. So it's it's a really wide wheel and it comes in a few different patterns, tire patterns. Let me bring it over there, Jim, sure. so I can see the, because uh, we can't see it from the side there. Wow, that's right. fat. Yeah, hence the name, the fat tire. So its true purpose is sand and snow. So what you would do is deflate it, you would lose some of the arc, and then you would have um, the surface flattened that would pick up on the soft terrain like sand and snow. So this is the fat tire bike, and uh, this particular one, has eight gears in the rear and two in the front. Um, when it's fully inflated, it acts as a traditional mountain bike. So you can ride it on the street and trails, but it's also capable of uh, weathering the sand and snow. So that, those are some of the out of the ordinary bikes. Um, and this will uh, suffice for someone a little heavier as well. Um, great bike if you're, you know, able to ride on an upright two-wheeler, something you might also consider. And if you don't use it for its true purpose, once again, like we discussed the hybrid tire, you can also change this tire and put a hybrid or a slick tire on it to reduce the resistance. So it's also multi-purpose. I think so you have one of those uh, bike unicycles. Unicycles. Right. Yeah. yeah, the unicycle is just the only thing we don't rent in the store. <laughs> uh, insurance might not like that if I did that. But uh, the unicycle is great for core. Um, if you haven't ridden one, I would suggest you have a couple of people surround you and make sure you wear impact gear, helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, because uh, if you go down, it's it's a little rough. But once you learn how to ride it, a lot of fun. Jim, I've seen on the trail people riding a bike for two. Right. Could you talk about this one? Uh, so this is a tandem. It's for two. Um, it's two chains on this, but it acts as a mono system, so it's a one operation. So you have to pedal. Front, rear, has, you have to work in tandem, hence the name. So uh, this particular one is a seven speed. Um, the rear person does nothing but hold on and enjoy the ride. The person in the front will control the gears, the brakes. And one of the other benefits, other than it's just a lot of fun, the person in the rear does not have to know how to ride a bike. So that's a great asset to tandem. Hey guys, we want to thank Jim Taylor to uh, giving us his time to show us around his shop and especially to show us these unique bikes that most of us that are a little extra heavy uh, could use benefit of these special type of bikes. So. Give us some comments, and Jim, where, where are you located at that? We're located at 266 Titus Road, Poughkeepsie, New York, and 125, I'm sorry, 12603. And what's your phone number? And you can reach us at 845-486-8125. And we're open 930 till 7, seven days a week, plus the season is upon us. Now guys, I want you to know that this is a not a paid program, but not a paid advertisement. I've had the pleasure of coming in and uh, dealing with Jim, and he's been more than, than decent about pricing and service. So take advantage, if you're in the Dutchess County area or in the Hudson Valley, come on over to Leisure Ride Bike Rental and Sales. Bye-bye. We can't emphasize enough the benefits of biking on your knees, on your body, on your heart, on weight loss, and getting some sunshine and vitamin E and vitamin D. Get out there and ride a bike.